Hello Jesus people today. My God talk will be on uh, the light of the world. We are the light of the world and we are the salt of the earth. So the word says if if we lose our saltiness, what good are we except to just be thrown down and trampled underfoot? Okay, so we are the light of the world. What good is a light that is hidden in on a bushel? It needs to be released so the whole house can have light. There's a lot of metaphor meanings in this. Okay, the house is um, the house is your body, obviously. It's the vessel of God where God dwell, God's spirit of love dwells. And so we are the light. So we're born in darkness and iniquity. And when Jesus Christ comes in and the word comes in, uh, it brings light. Okay, and so then we get revelation. And so our jobs as we get revelation, the best time to teach is right when you learn. That's what they say because then you move on to the next thing. So our, our light is the word. Okay, so covering the light is when we don't use the word in our lives. It's when we do not take the word seriously. We need to actually incorporate the word into our everyday lives. So, I mean, this is the light that Jesus is speaking of. We need to know the word and we need to incorporate the word into our everyday languages. Now, there's two languages. You can you see my video on that. Uh, there's a language of two kingdoms, the language of love and the language of fear. So we are born in iniquity. We're born not knowing God. Born again is a new experience for us. And it's a we were born of flesh um, from our mothers, and now we're going to be born of the Spirit. And so what we need to do once we're born of the Spirit is the Spirit of love, um, two kingdoms, love and fear. So the Spirit of love, we need to learn the love language and apply the love language, which is the Word of God. Uh, as we speak the Word of God, it empowers us. And so what God wants us to do is to start speaking the Word. It says that if we deny Jesus Christ, then he'll deny us. Okay, so we need to use Jesus. We need to speak the Word, and we need to know the Word. And so this is when we can be on a hill and shine a light in the darkness so that man, we can get take man out of confusion. I mean, this is the mystery and the power of God. Uh, we move from darkness, which is fear and confusion, uh, into the light. So without the light, what do we have? We have, we just have pure darkness is what we have when we don't have the light. Okay, it just goes, you know, it just goes black. So, okay, so this is my little talk on the light of the world. And there, it's really cool how that sun comes through the colors.